Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, a video request. And this video request is actually brought to you by Silverman. And he said, Hey BJ Tech News, can you make a video on how to make a disk partition inside a fully automated task sequence installation? Why not? So let's do it. So the first thing that you need to do, get into your MDT server. I am running server 2012 data center uh, edition. Uh, so let's launch our deployment webbench and from here let's create our task sequence so I'm assuming that you have your operating system and application already imported and everything is configured properly if not go check out my other videos I have a playlist of like massive MDT stuff so check them out uh, I already created a partition test folder and I already created a task sequence for C and D but I'm going to show you guys how to do it uh, it's basic, it's really simple. Hopefully you guys know how to create a task sequence. But uh, I'm gonna double click on the one that I already pre-created. So I'm gonna double click on this and we're going to the task sequence. Now, to manage your partitions or create a partition, it's inside the pre-installed new computer only folder and there's a folder in partition disk task sequence. And we're gonna click on that and as you can see, I already created my partition but in reality when you create a new one right click and let's go to new task sequence we're gonna give this one a partition partition 02 and uh, Windows 7 x86 partition task sequence 2 and we're doing a C this is a C and D partition there we go and we're going to click on next it's going to be a standard client and task sequence next you're going to pick your operating system I'm going to be deploying 86 um, set Windows 7 click on next I'm not going to specify the product key because I could either do that within the unattended file or if you have a KMS or a key management server on your infrastructure that will push out the license that way click on next uh, the name would be BJ Tech News it's up to you my company BTNHD and my sites and there you go click on next give it an admin password now this admin password is the local admin password okay this is not your domain uh, administrative password so click next on that click next and it creates it for you done so this is the one that we just created so let's double click on it now by default uh, they give you one partition which is the C drive that's where the operating system and all the applications are being installed now this particular person wanted to do a, uh, a partition they wanted a, to automate how to create a partition with MDT to do that we want to get into the pre-install folder uh, new computer only like I said before and the format and partition now by default they create they give you one primary partition with a hundred percent so that means if you have a hard drive with 500 gigs that 500 gigs is going to be used for your first partition. Now for MDT, we want to delete this. Actually, don't delete it yet. What we need to do is let's go into the properties and let's copy the partition name. Okay, partition name and the variable is the same thing. Now this variable is actually being called throughout the task sequence for it to shoot the operating system into. So I'm going to show you where this variable actually comes from or where it's used. So let's press OK. I'm going to delete it yes and we're going to create a new one so the partition name is going to be what I just deleted the variable is going to be what I used uh, is this going to be the boot partition uh, I am going to specify the partition It's really up to you I'm going to do let's say 15 gigs and press OK now it's time for me to create another partition because let's say I, my hard drive is 100 gigs and I only want 15 gigs out of it. Now the rest of the hard drive space, I want that to be my D drive. So let's go and click on this little star. Let's go extra, because that's the name I want the partition. The variable, don't, you don't have to create a variable because that variable, nothing is being installed into it. We're not, calling, um, we're not calling anything within the task sequence to do something on this partition. We just needed to create the partition as a free space. Uh, use percentage as remaining space we want to do a hundred so whatever is left over is going to be attached to this partition we're going to press OK we're going to apply now before we do that I want to show you guys where this variable comes about where why why do we need to call the 
primary partition OS disk. Well, partition name, you could call it whatever you want, but the variable right here is very important because that's the default of what MDT uses. So I'm gonna press OK, and I'm gonna show you, I believe in the install part, install operating system, that's the variable that's being called. Now this variable could be used, called anything that you want, is up to you, but I like to leave it as default. Don't play around with it, don't touch it. And let's right click our deployment share, let's update our deployment share, click on next, next. And it's gonna update that. I'm doing everything on a virtual machine, so I'm gonna go to file, new virtual machine, next, next. Uh, it's gonna be a Windows 7, next. Let's call this BJ temp. I'm gonna drop it inside my desktop because I have a folder called VM temp. Next, I'm gonna give it 30 gigs. Remember, 15 gigs out of this 30 is gonna be the operating system, and the rest is gonna be our D drive core extra. So we're gonna click on next on that, hit finish. That's awesome. Let's go back into our MDT server. Our deployment is already done. We're gonna hit finish. And we're gonna go back into our BJ temp. And we're gonna start this up. And I'm gonna make sure that I get F12 clicked on so I can pixie boot. And there we go. I'm gonna boot from an 86-bit operating system environment because that's what I'm gonna be pushing out. I am pushing out a 32-bit Windows 7 operating system, not a 64. So once this boots up, we are inside our MDT deployment and it's time for us to uh, configure it and let it be. All right, so once our deployment is started, uh, remember if you guys have checked out my other videos, you probably automated all this. I haven't automated none of this. <laughs> this is actually my, my uh, testing environment. So in my testing environment, I don't automate. I should automate it to make life a little easy. Uh, so I'm just authenticating myself so I can get into the deployment share. Make sure that this account has full access to your MDT server. That's the only way this will work. So let's press OK. And that's not going to work. Probably wrote, wrote the wrong password. Make sure you got the right password. And there we go. Uh, it's processing it. Awesome. And from here, we are going to pick our custom partition task, which is task two. Click on next. And let's give it a name of BJ Temp. Click on next, next, next. Uh, let's change this to Eastern Time. Remember, guys, you can actually automate all this within the custom settings INI file or your unintended file. Uh, click on next. I'm not going to push out any app, um, no applications. I'm going to click on next. And I'm going to hit begin. And I'm going to let you guys go and uh, check out the, the partition.